going to pick up from uh, where my colleague Linda Lela has left and of course to kickstart the discussion that pertains the state of politics in the country and this pertains of course the ongoing graft at uh, the Kenya Pipeline Company and, and the revelations that are forthcoming pertaining the siphoning of more than 70 billion Kenya uh, shillings belonging to the taxpayers from the coffers of the government press settle. And uh, for that discussion shortly we'll be joined in about 15 minutes time by uh, the Member of Parliament from Vita Constituency, Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir, who is in a practical position politically to explain to us because he is the chairperson of the Parliamentary Investment Committee. But for uh, the issue that pertains uh, the increase or the proposal to have uh, a better pay by members of parliament i'm joined on the set by miruru waweru who is the chairperson national chairperson of the third alliance party of kenya of dr ekuro okot and i'm sure he'll be in a better position to shed light on uh, the ongoing see, regarding the collection of signatures in the country to a uh, kick the referendum in the country Asante sana waweru i do appreciate to have you and many thanks for coming on board thank you well i'm sure you must have reservations that uh, uh, with regards to the issue that pertains uh, the members of parliament proposing to increase uh, their pay, they say that uh, what they are currently accorded is not enough. They want an expanded medical cover or scheme to cover their uh, larger or polygamous families. They want the yeah. age of the children to be covered under the insurance scheme to be moved from 18 to 25, among other issues. But uh, it comes at the backdrop, too, of... Uh, uh, President Huru Kenyatta rebuking them, Raila Odinga saying that this is not the right time to talk about that. And of course, uh, the National Assembly is Justin Maturi says mm. that will, time is not ripe enough, then we can talk about this in 2022. What's your position as a party pertaining this? In fact, uh, our party position is very clear. We have said, and we issued a press statement on this last week, that parliamentarians actually do not have the powers mm -hmm. to vote on any bill that they have pecuniary interest. That means any bill that they will benefit financially. Mm -hmm. That is under Article 122 of the Constitution of Kenya. We actually don't understand how the Speaker Justin Mutuli is allowing them to discuss such a bill mm -hmm. because they are not qualified to vote in such a bill. So in, in the event that they don't vote under the same Article 122, if uh, members of Parliament vote on any matter mm -hmm. and they tie, the question is lost. Okay. Meaning because all of them now do not qualify, even if they discuss that matter, that question has been lost. Because they should not, none of them should vote for that because they have pecuniary interest. Mm -hmm. That is, they have monetary interest in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course now and, uh, and in fact, the other thing is, our other position is, the, 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 the constitutional body that is mandated in setting salaries for public officials is mm -hmm. the SRC. Mm -hmm. Parliament has no role in that in the current constitution. So they are overstepping their mandate and uh, they just it's just greed that is driving them. They are not seeing the bigger picture and we are wondering why the speaker is allowing them to discuss such a motion. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and the, uh, the revelation is that it defies all logic for that debate to come or to surface at this hour, at this time, because uh, economically we are off the curve. Uh, the president just called for austerity measures pertaining the uh, state of the economy uh, with regards to the ballooning wage bill, the national debt. But uh, why is it that members of parliament always have a common interest and feed from the same trough when it comes to issues of monetary? And uh, they seem to be now coming together to a converging point with regards to the pay rise because uh, they don't even want to consider their political affiliations. Now they have common interests to protect. Why are they doing so? Uh, you know, definitely, even uh, their political affiliations are based on a lie because uh, most of these uh, political entities are not uh, founded on any on any, 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 any principles. So the, that's why these MPs even overrule their, their own party leaders and, and decide to, to increase their salary. This ha has happened several times. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Stadway Alliance, we <coughs> are not just at back to lament. Okay. Uh, we, we are calling on the Kenyan public to support our Punguza Mizigo campaign so that we can cap the salaries of these MPs in the constitution. Uh, we'll put a conditional clause and uh, because we think a Kenyan MP is one of the highest paid MP, it's factual. Mm -hmm. uh, our MPs are paid uh, higher proportionately even than American MPs compared to our GDP, mm -hmm. our average earnings as Kenyans. And we need people who would not earn more than 300,000 in that parliament, mm -hmm. including of allowances. Those who think in that parliament they can earn more 
uh, like the current one million shillings, they can go to the corporate world. Mm -hmm. They can go and start businesses, but they don't need to be in public service. Okay. And of course, as a party, you have uh, mm. uh, raised the red flag that uh, d regarding the economic status of the country, and you proposed, among others, a whole host of other issues in the 14-point agenda by your party leader in, November, in, in 2017 after the elections. And of course, uh, now I we have an initiative, Punguza Mizigo Initiative, yes. and uh, he has a shadow cabinet. But... Uh, when you, while you have proposed a reduction in the number of members of parliament, what is your anchoring point here? Is it because that they are consuming more economically? Because it, it, members of parliament argue that they don't even ha consume about 2% of the national uh, budget. They say much of that goes to the executive. Or you are much interested in reduction of their numbers so that they can be something substantial at the floor of the house. Because some of them even now complain that they don't have time to debate on issues that affect the common monarchy. So what's your approach point here? You know, one of the things that we have to understand about our proposal, Punguza Mizigo, what I would like the viewers to understand is that it is not only focused on the MPs. The Punguza Mizigo is actually redesigning how our governance structures are in this country. And I've had that argument that Parliament only consumes 2%. Mm -hmm. What is 2% of 3 billion shillings? Currently, Parliament is consuming about 35 Five million 30 shillings. Billion 30 shillings. billion shillings. Mm -hmm. Now, what is 30 billion shillings? Let us stop trivializing numbers mm -hmm. by just uh, calling them out using percentages. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at 30 billion shillings, it's actually more than the cost that we incurred to build the thicker road. So that is what Parliament, 400 people are consuming. Mm -hmm. What would be the value of building an asset, constructing an asset like thicker road at 30 billion shillings? To the public. In fact, 30 billion shillings divided by 1450 wards mm -hmm. is about 21 million shillings. Each ward. Each ward mm -hmm. out of the 1450 wards. Why are we allowing all this money to go to the current instead of taking this money to the people? I would give you, for example, mm -hmm. like mostly like in the northern frontier counties where uh, even water is a problem, a borehole would cost a borehole and a tank maybe 2 million shillings. Mm -hmm. So each ward would get like 10 boreholes. Let's be practical as Kenyans. So what we're asking Kenyans is this. Do you want over-representation, mm -hmm. have more MPs, or development? So we have to choose because life is about trade-off. Okay. We trade off between, we are, we are asking citizens, let's trade off between development and over-representation. Mm -hmm. So now, we, 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 at our Pumuza Mizigo campaign, we have proposed that we reduce the total number of parliamentarians to 147. Okay. And it's because of a very simple reason. One, already the ha current house is overrepresented, mm -hmm. is overcrowded. Number two, we have proposed also that we get, we, we devolved funds, we increase the devolved funds to, to the counties. To the counties. And also uh, amend the constitution to ensure that every ward gets a specific budget for development. Mm -hmm. So that means, why do you need so much representation, whereas now you get development at your do doorstep? The reason that people need a, uh, a representative mm -hmm. is to negotiate, is, is for representation. Uh, when budgets are being done, you can negotiate. But once you put in a formula in the constitution that you, can, you are guaranteed of getting your funds, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we'll be able now to know that citizens are guaranteed of, de of services and development in their, at their, to their do doorstep. Okay, uh, having mentioned the fact that uh, you wanted... Uh, uh, more of development money that uh, brings about development projects for the betterment of the people. Mm. How are you incorporating that in your continuous uh, countrywide uh, collection of sing signatures for the Punguza Mizigo Initiative to trigger a referendum in the country? Are you packaging that together with the signature collection that this is what we have on paper, we want to reduce the number because of this and this reason, and this is the amount of money that will go to each word across the country, say 21 million, and it will be more beneficial to the taxpayer, you the common monarch. So how are you selling out that message? Uh, you know, we, uh, our message is to, we, we are sending the message out there. We, we have been going to meet the people. We have actually gone to 13 counties. In the 13 counties, we have met citizens, we have discussed with them, we have explained to them the 16 points of Punguza Mizigo. And uh, for the retreat citizens who can go to the web, uh, thirdwayalliance.com website, mm -hmm. uh, you can go to the download center. We've given the whole document there with even justifications of why we think every, uh, we need to act and change the constitution on the 16 aspects. Because every, uh, every proposal mm -hmm. is founded on, uh, is justified. And uh, I, I would like to 
actually shed some more light. When we started this initiative, we had actually had only seven proposals. Mm -hmm. uh, as, we, uh, as we moved on, citizens and voters of this country made proposals mm -hmm. and we incorporated them because this referendum is not about third way, it's about the lives of Kenyans. We are not doing a referendum just to make uh, to, uh, for third way. We are making a referendum that will change the lives of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 